Okay, so we're going to keep working with the St. George model. So you can see here that I'm in this Dixie V3 location. And there's the catalog. So I'm going to open that up now. Okay, so it's open now. You might have to say okay to some path changes, but once you do, it should be working. Um, then we're going to open up the master network. Let me show you how to do that. Um, one thing I noticed was that when I was clicked up here on scenarios, I can go here to open master network and let's see what happens it'll say cannot open file d dixie which is a surprise to me because when I go to the uh, um, the location the the file is there so I can go say D, Dixie 3, 1 inputs, 3 highway, which is exactly what this says. D, Dixie, Master Highway Network. The file is there. So I don't understand why it didn't open it. But one thing I do understand is that I had clicked on the wrong thing. So if I click on something that I have run before, or that might even be, well, let's try something. Here's something I have not run before. See if that works. Nope, I get the same message. So, I don't really know what's going on there, but if I click on something that I have run before, this time it should be able to open the file. Okay, this is a different problem. So, this says that it's looking for the TAZ shape file that was part of my coloring scheme and it's still remembering the old location so it's asking do you want to look for it I'll say yes and here's how I look for it so I I, I know it's under the GIS folder um, Dixie the highway inputs GIS and then it's links oh whoops that is not the one that I wanted sorry it was asking about the uh, the, the TAZ shapefile so I'm gonna go there and I'm looking for um, this boundary file here. I actually I I went and selected links, but that's not the right thing. So I need to go find that, and I'm going to go up two directories to TAZ. Select TAZ. All done. Okay, so now this is correct. So this will only work if you've got the VPR file, and I'll. Um, upload or I'll, I'll put the VPR file on the website but this is the one that it's using right here um, and just so you know what it is uh, you can open it most of these things are op can be opened with ASCII um, with some kind of ASCII editor so notepad I like wordpad better than notepad and this shows you how it says, okay, we're going to link, color this link according to this, this, this. So it's just recording all of the settings that you've um, put in to be able to record colors and have different files be available, things like that. So if you don't have all these colors and layers set up like this, then maybe it's a good chance to pause the the video and try to get the right VPR file and get to where you can see it like this because otherwise it might be harder to follow what's going on here in fact I'll just do that right now so that you can follow along with me so I'm going to close this out and it's going to ask if I want to save the project I'll say no so that you'll be able to follow more easily what's going on in a minute so now I'm going to go over to this location and I've got uh, these networks I'm gonna delete all these other networks because there's no real value in them anyway so this way I, I know I'm only dealing with the one and so it's this network this VPR file right here so I'm just gonna temporarily name it um, uh, a B file here so that it won't have the same name then it will look for this default file and it'll use that instead um, but I'm going to change this and I'm going to call this also default B so that it uses nothing 
So now let's go back over here and see what happens when we open up. We've got it on 2019. Go to open it. And okay, so this is what the network looks like when it can't find a VPR file. So now I'll close that and we'll help it find one. Okay, so I'm going back here and I'm going to um, get rid of the B on this thing so that it has the same name as the network and then we're going to see what happens. Alright, so double click the master network here. Okay, so now it's... Okay, so it looks like it's probably opening that VPR file and it's just saying that within the VPR file is a reference to this TAZ shape file but the reference is, is on a wrong path so do I want to look for that file I'll say um, I'll say no this time but then I will uh, show you how to find it so now it's opened it up it's got all the colors but I'm gonna go and get that thing anyway if you say yes it'll take you to here if you say no then then it's just saying alright this is the last place that I saw a TAZ shape file I'm going to browse and find it. It's in this location here under one inputs TAZ shapefile. Say done. And then it pops in like this. And it has colors set up like this because that's the way that the colors were set up in the VPR shapefile. Alright, so now you should be good as long as you have access to the VPR shapefile, which I'll post on the website somehow and make you so you can find it. Alright. So now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to scroll the wheel on the mouse and I'll pan here with the pan tool so I could see more easily what the network is. And the uh, I'm going to change the offset. So right here if you click on the color thing then this shows draw offset. I'll have the offset at zero and what that does is it shows every road um, as if it's just um, kind of a one-way or it combines the two-way roads so that they just look like one road and one-way roads are also also shown that way like a freeway is a one-way road you can also see um, how you could see the actual one-way streets by going to post layer network okay so this shows um, roads that actually are only one way. If it doesn't have an arrow, then it's two way. Okay, so now here's a few other things that are useful to do. So if we look at the color definition that we've set up, this shows lanes 0, 1, 2, 3, and then the green is the 7, the functional type. So now we can see what our lanes are without posting them, but one of the things we don't know is what the codes are for the functional type. So one way you can do that is you could go here to this post all thing and it has different th th ways you can look at data. So let's go over here and we'll look for a thing called FT23. I'm going to do the 50, so 2050. Even though we're working in the 2019 file, I'm still curious what the functional types are in 2050. So. I'm just going to hit OK, and this posts um, numbers next to all of the roads. All right, so now you can see the functional type. Now that's a little bit, it's like I don't need to see that many numbers. So I'm going to go here and do a selection criteria, and I'm going to say only if A, or well, it didn't, sometimes it just doesn't work. Like you right click to put something in and it doesn't work. So I'm going to say if A, greater than B. So that reduces it down to just one because um, A is greater than B only one time and what A and B are is um, if I click on this link there's an A node the number and there's a B node so these are the nodes that define A and B so that's what that is. So now you can see um, that what the functional types are. So 33 is apparently a freeway. 
Um, two is a major arterial, and you can know that by zooming into St. George and just seeing what does this road look like. Three is a minor arterial, four is a collector, five is an even smaller collector. So you can figure some of that out by just looking at the roads on the aerial photo in Google Earth, and then you'll be able to tell. And then one is a, um, a centroid connector. And then um, there's even some other ones that are a little bit different, like here's a 42, it's part of a ramp system. Here's a 41, port part of a ramp system. So that's a little bit about functional type. All right, I want to do a node display just to see what happens. So I'm going to click here on this color th thing. And um, actually, that was something I was doing. Let me delete that row, and I'll start over. So I'll append, and I'm going to right-click in here. And I can see that there's park and ride lot information about these zones. So I want to see what is what are the park and ride lots in 2019. Now, this is where Cube just doesn't work sometimes. I don't know why. I can select this, PNR underscore 2019, but it doesn't show up. So I just have to remember that it said that PNR underscore 2019, and I want to see, I don't actually know whether, I th they're numbers, I know that, but I don't know whether they're positive or negative, so I'm just going to say not equal to zero, and I want to see them really big, so like a 20, so for sure I'll see it. And, okay. All right, so this is where park and ride lots are at across the region and this is how the bus system gets people who are coming to the bus by driving their car to the bus instead of walking to the bus so or maybe they're getting dropped off kiss and ride is also um, considered park and ride all right so that was pretty big so I'm gonna change this back down to like 10 and those are my park and ride locations and I think I'm done at this point with the 2019 or with the master network I want to move on to transit so I'm gonna go ahead and come up here to or let's see what we do I'm gonna say file save as save project as save it as what um, well, it, it defaults to this name right here, which is what I want to save it as. And I'll hit save. Okay, to overwrite the previous one. Yes. And there you go. So next time you open up the master network file, it should just open and, and look exactly like this. Okay, so moving on to transit, I'm going to turn... Well... Actually, I'll probably give this a name so I can remember it next time. I'll just call this, I'm going to control C, control V. This is PNR 19. Close. And then I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and select number 2 as a way to turn that off. And I still have number 1 available. Then here is, num is 2019. I'm going to change do like that. And I'm also going to go back to the post. And this was functional type, so I'm just going to come right here and I'm going to say FT23 underscore 50 so that I know that this is the functional type. Um, and when I hit enter and close, now that says 20 FT23. So I'm going to now go to the 2 slot and that turns it off. So now I'm back to this, to where I kind of have a clean network. And what I'm going to do next is... Um, turn off my uh, boundary layer here, the, the shape file.